What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing analysis on CXAI stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how this asset gained uh, just in several sessions uh, more than 4,365%. Then it dropped for about uh, 83 percent and uh, what was the reason of uh, this uh, price action at the end of this video i will share my thoughts and my technical analysis and i will show you what should we expect next so let's start with the price chart as you can see this asset previously didn't have uh, any volume at all right here on uh, the uh, volume you can find that uh, uh, average volume was not more than uh, several thousand uh, shares a day but right here we have a drastically increasing volume on April 13th and then uh, on after our session we had this uh, massive spike in its price for more than 900 percent and for from lowest point it uh, went higher for more than 4.4 thousand uh, percent massive movement I have to say that it is one of the biggest movements that I've ever seen so what was the reason of uh, this movement and what is this company about first of all let me show you right here on your top uh, on your bottom right corner you can find uh, uh, the short description of this company cx app uh, engages in the provision of workspace experience solutions its solutions are used in workspace experience employee uh, engagement desk and meeting room reservations work uh, place analytics uh, occupancy management uh, content delivery corporate communications and notifications event management live indoor mapping and uh, wayfinding uh, and navigation. The company was uh, founded on September 19th, 2022, and it is uh, headquartered in Palo, in Palo Alto, California. So, it is a very young company. It was uh, founded uh, less uh, than one year ago, and it is some kind of startup, I think. I don't know more about this company. Let me show you their financials. Uh, so, previously they had a decent uh, assets a decent amount of assets uh, but right now they don't have it let me show you their income statement so definitely they don't have uh, revenue and uh, i have to say that uh, their balance sheet uh, is not the best and uh, their financials are not so promising so what was the reason of uh, this spike in its price let me show you the recent news and we have several news uh, on uh, for example seeking alpha uh, so, CX app stock source nearly 300% hits a new post SPAC merger high. So, it is a SPAC merger, and uh, let me show you the company. It uh, merged with SPAC uh, Kins Technology, and uh, they announced it, uh, announced it on March 14th. And the value of uh, Enterprise Apps Group uh, is around uh, $69 million. Let me show you its uh, current uh, market cap. It is uh, 118.87 uh, million dollars. So it is already higher than uh, uh, the potential value of the company. And it is the first red flag. Uh, let me show you, for example, this news that was published uh, uh, on April 14th. And it says, Essex app uh, rallies for second day along with parent uh, in Pixon. And let me quote you this. Shares of New Republic uh, SX app uh, and uh, parent uh, ENPX soared for the second day in a row Friday, with uh, CX app rocketing as high as 200% to hit uh, a new 52-week high. Uh, CX app merged with Spark Hawkins Technology on March 14th uh, through a deal that valued the enterprise apps uh, group at around $69 million. The company is a spin-out of InPixon. Inpixon stock also got a boost Friday. Shares of Inpixon opened at 1.39, reaching an early high of 1.66 before sliding to a low of uh, 80 cents. So, let me show you the price action in details. Uh, let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, we are on hourly time frame and if we switch uh, to, for example, 5 minutes time frame, we can see that uh, this uh, asset uh, had a highly increasing volume on April 13th, but it didn't have uh, comparable movements uh, of its value compared to this one. But if we take a look closer on this, uh, let me show it to you 
on this price action. Uh, from the beginning of uh, the day till the uh, highest point, it went uh, for more than 280%. Then it had some kind of consolidation phase. And I don't want uh, to uh, dive deep into the Elliott Wave uh, theory breakdown of uh, this uh, movement. Uh, just uh, Let's just assume that uh, it completed its structure from the bottom to the top. And uh, let me show you, uh, if I pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from its lowest point to its highest point, it broke all the supports, all the levels, and uh, right now it is hovering below the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level, and it has uh, this uh, range as the range of resistance right now. So, uh, statistically, we don't have more than 10% probability to hit higher targets to break this previous swing high, but we have uh, some good news from the short interest standpoint. And if we take a look on the short interest of this company, let me show you that right now uh, this uh, company has zero shares available for shorting. And as you can see, previously they, have, uh, they had only 20 shares, then again zero three days ago, 20,000 shares three days ago, 25,000. So, a lot of shares. By the way, how many shares do they have uh, on the market? 1.87 million dollars. So, a lot of shares, I have to say. Let me show you that uh, their uh, short borrow fee rate is extremely high, 135.26%. And uh, yes, uh, it has a short squeeze potential. Decent, I have to say, decent short squeeze potential. Uh, let's take a look uh, on the uh, stocktweets.com website. On Watchers section, we have SXAI uh, stock, uh, ticker on the fourth place, but we don't have this ticker symbol on the most active section. We don't have it right here, and we don't have it uh, on the trending section. This means uh, we have uh, to be cautious, because uh, without uh, the appearing on uh, the most active and trending section, and without uh, the moving uh, this uh, ticker symbol on the first place, we will not see the support from retail community, and we will not see uh, the short squeeze uh, on our price charts. And uh, I have to say that if you want to enter the position with this asset right now, I have a lot of doubts that it might happen. But uh, this asset uh, right now is extremely risky and it is an emotional driven asset. And if you want to enter your long position, your downside potential from current range might be somewhere here or even uh, the uh, lowest point of $1.52. dollars. This means it can bring you from the current uh, price point uh, about 56% uh, of potential losses or even 90% of potential losses. And if you want to enter your position with this asset, uh, just uh, do it uh, very carefully and uh, do not use more than uh, several percent of your portfolio, of uh, the value of your portfolio, because uh, you might lose a lot of money, but the upside potential is also substantial. Uh, it has to break uh, this previous swing high, and definitely it will not uh, happen uh, this Monday at the morning session. Definitely it might happen uh, this week, but nobody knows when. And uh, this 400% uh, uh, potential profit might uh, be very lucrative in the short-term perspective. And I want to pay your attention also on the other company, on INPX, the company of a spin-out, INPX, in Pixon. And uh, it also has a very good uh, movement to the upside, and it has a very good structure. As you can see right here, we have uh, five structure. We have, we already formed five wave structure. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And uh, it is very technical from the Elliott Wave perspective. And because of this, we can pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from the lowest point, from the bottom of the first wave, to the top of the fifth wave. And what do we have right here? We have perfect bounce from the golden pocket range. This means uh, we still have a possibility to hit higher targets. We have, uh, we've barely see this uh, blip below the 0.65 level and it brings uh, some attention on the table. But uh, definitely from this point uh, we might see the next leg to the upside, especially if we take a look on this structure and probably we already have uh, ABC correction 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, probably we already uh, completed this movement. And if I pull the Fibonacci extension tool from this top to this bottom and project it from the top, yes, uh, we hit, as you can see right here, one to one extension, and uh, it is the most probable uh, range of uh, in between A wave and C wave. 
So we have decent chances to see the bounce to the upside. This means uh, this asset also might be quite interesting and uh, it might uh, bring on the table about 100% of potential profit with the tight stop loss uh, at about 16% to this previous uh, uh, swing low. So definitely these two assets uh, might be quite interesting uh, as a very aggressive and risky trades and uh, you should be very cautious with your position. But in general, if you can uh, catch uh, just uh, one out of 10 these type of trades, uh, it uh, will uh, bring more profit than losses on your table. So I think uh, from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap, only got one